Exercise 10. Boston Company issues bonds with a par value of $180,000 on their stated issue date. The bonds mature in eight years and pay 8% annual interest in semi-annual payments. On the issue date, the annual market rate for the bonds is 6%. What is the amount of each semi-annual interest payment for these bonds? The amount of the interest payment is calculated by taking the par value, $180,000, multiplying by the contract rate, 8%, and then dividing by 2, 180,000, multiplied by 8%, divided by 2, is $7,200. Requirement 2, how many semi-annual interest payments will be made on these bonds over their life? There will be two payments per year for eight years, 16 payments. Requirement 3, use the interest rates given to determine whether the bonds are issued at a premium or a discount. Remember there's an inverse relationship between the market rate and the selling price. In this case the market rate is lower, 6%. When the market rate is lower, the selling price will be higher. We expect these bonds to sell at a premium. Requirement 4, compute the price of the bonds as of their issue date. And we're to use the present value table. The repayment schedule, the cash flow promised by these bonds, consists of two components. The par value, the maturity value of $180,000, and the series of semi-annual payments, the 16 payments of $7,200. When we have a series of equal payments spread out evenly over time, it meets the definition of an annuity. To calculate the selling price, we need to convert these future values to present values. Since there is only a single payment of $180,000, we go to the present value of a single sum chart. We look at the semi-annual market rate, 3%, and the total number of payments, and the total number of periods, 16. The factor is 0.6232. Once the dollar has lost 3% of its value, 16 times, it's only worth 62.32 cents on the dollar in today's purchasing power. $180,000 multiplied by 0.6232 is $112,176. To calculate the present value of the series of payments, the annuity, we go to the present value of an annuity table. We go to the intersection of the semi-annual market rate, 3%, and n equals 16, and we see the factor of 12.5611. This is the number of equivalent payments. Even though there will be 16 payments of $7,200 spread out over 8 years, it's the equivalent of 12.5611 payments of $7,200 in today's purchasing power. 7,200 multiplied by 12.5611 is $90,440. The selling price of the bonds is $202,616. This is consistent with our prediction that these bonds would sell at a premium. Whenever the market rate is less than the contract rate, bonds sell at a premium. Number five, we're asked to prepare the journal entry to record the bond's issuance. Debit cash for the amount that we receive, $202,616. Credit premium on bonds payable for $22,616 and credit bonds payable for the par value $180,000.